All right, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. And we are Offset. Era. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right. And as you see in the title, we're bringing in East, East of, of Eden. Eden. It's a brand new band to us. We've never checked them out before. Yep. Came from one of your guys' suggestions from our community page. The song we're checking out is... Evolve. Evolve Extended Version. Yep. It's a music video from what I can tell. It's got 1.1 million views and... Just under a year, it looks like. So, just over six months. Yeah. Okay. So, do August very, 7th, very well. 2023. Yep. So, just about seven months. So, East of Eden has come up several times in your guys' suggestions. We're just finally now getting uh, getting into them. So, thanks to you guys for hanging in there. But we are hearing you loud and clear. We're going to bring them in. When we normally bring in new bands, you, know, you guys know what we like to do. Look up some stuff and talk about them a little bit. Yep. So we're gonna piece together some information we found here. Yeah, we tried. Lot. We tried looking up East of Eden on Wikipedia, and the only East of Eden that we found with the actual Wikipedia page was the British progressive rock band with the same name from the seventies. Yes. So we had to go to the J-pop fandom. Yeah. And even that one was very sparse in terms of information, other than the fact that they are a Japanese all-girl rock band formed in August twenty twenty-three, and they were formed by violinist. Ayasa, if that's a mispronunciation of the of her of her name, I sincerely apologize. Uh, I don't mean to come across as ignorant or unenlightened. You know, Japanese just isn't our first language. In any case, she gathered five renowned female musicians with the aim of expanding into the world. Yeah. So this is really weird to see a band have be have a violin person a person listed for violin producer and leader. Yep. Ayasa on violin. Uh, Minato Akane on vocals, Yuki on guitar, Waka Zemon on bass, and Mizuki on drums. All right, and let's look at some other things here. Now, this uh, uh, this other stuff is not verified information, so if it is wrong, we are very sorry. But some more information about this band. Yep. So Ayasa began learning violin when she was just three years old. She has a YouTube channel which uh, covers Annie songs, anime songs, on her violin while in cosplay. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. And her favorite anime is Inuyasha. Okay. I also like Inuyasha. Akane Minato, she debuted in 2014 as the lead vocalist of the idol group Perdia. Her special skill is imitation. Yuki began playing guitar when she was 17. Alongside East of Eden, she's the guitarist for D-Drive, an instrumental hard rock band. Uh, and their bass player, Waka Zaman, Waka, Waka Zaman, began playing support when she was 17 and has played for artists such as Rina Katahira, Ryuchi Kawamira Sana, Zuto Mayo, Shoko <laughs> Nag Nagawa, and, and others. She oh she is also the basis for Maximum the Hormones franchise band Cottily. Yes. It was formerly the basis of Dot Any. She is left-handed. I love Maximum the Hormone. He loves Maximum the Hormone. Yes, and the last member here. Mizuki. She also plays the Kajon. Okay. Grew up listening to Western music. Was in charge of percussion in brass band when she was in middle and high school. Her professional career began in 2012 when she passed the audition to play in the supporting band for Mama Kawadi. And she is also the drummer and founder of Lonesome Blue. Yes, it's another band we've been requested to check out. So... Definitely can get into some of these. Let's flip over to the video here. Yep. Uh, just a few comments and then we'll jump in. What do we got here? I can't mm -hmm. stop listening to this song. I have a strong feeling this band is going to be huge. Keep, Keep rocking. Keep rocking. Very rare to see a left-handed bassist. Great band. To say these later ladies rock is an understatement. They are brilliant musicians, and it is so good to see a left-hand bassist like me. But I am nowhere as good. Stupendous song and video. Japan does it again. I am all in with these super talented ladies. If they can keep this up, I can't wait to hear more. All right, here we go. Let's jump on into this one. And for those at home jumping in with us for the very first time... Welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. This will be our first time with East of Eden, but if you guys like them, you know what to do. Comment and let us know what we should be checking out next. Also, feel free to stop by our community page and put in a suggestion there. Yep. And we can definitely take a look at what you guys want to see. But if you're not new to the channel, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious epic trends. Bap, boop, bap. 
Oh, it's white. It's white as hell up in here. The, we're in the white zone. White zone. All right, we're getting whitewashed. I see the light. <laughs> okay, here we go. East of Eden. It's Volve, extended version, live music video. Our music just video. Uh, we've never seen this and never heard of this band, really. So, about to. Here, so, here we go. Here we go. Very somber sounding so far. So instrumentally, so far it seems you know, the like violin's the, really taking center stage. Exactly, exactly what I was really act. You know, it's really cool seeing it seeing it take off as like a as a lead instrument. Right. You know, you usually see you know, or rather, usually hear you know one of the guitars. You know, you know, doing like the lead, doing like a lead intro like that, or doing like an intro solo or something like yeah. that. You know, you don't really see a violin taking center stage like that in a, in a rock setting. Yeah. I really dig it. The drumming is really good too. Yes. Uh, it's just different because we're with not with the really violin like that. It yeah. almost makes me think of like jig music, like yes. Irish jig with the with you know. The when it first it, came in, I got that same feeling. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's really an interesting. I love it how they're doing it. The guitar is staying really tucked back. Yeah, well, the most guitar of the is acting. Rhythm it's guitar. acting. Yeah, like a yeah, yeah. As part of the rhythm section, as like a supplementary role, right? Reinforcing the violin and letting it shine like that. Yeah, it's interesting. And yeah, very interesting chops from this girl making it, uh, from the drummer making it very, I guess, Mizuki is her name. Yep. Uh, just really making it interesting and not just driving the song forward, but actually adding a lot of fills and licks and stuff of the drums, which spices it up a bit. And then, of course, the bass player sounding really neat. So far, I've heard a lot of little licks in here. It's a really fluffy kind of a tone, not super tacky or yeah. not super like. Trendy. Well, I mean, she's also playing fingerstyle, so the, yeah. you know, her tone is, a, if you're playing fingerstyle, your tone's going to be a little bit more rounded out instead of, you know, without, you know, the typical attack you Sounds get from the pick. smooth. I'd say it's, smooth yeah. is a good word for it. But yes, 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 that, yes. That's a much more appropriate term. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of licks she's playing.
Let me show you, girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes! We have a violin solo. I think the first on the channel. Oh! It's a guitar violin! Oh, we got it. Okay, let's, we gotta get through this. Oh, that's so oh, cool. God, alright. I'm loving it. So sick. Sneaking up on us. All right, now. All right, let's flip on over. All right, East of Eden. That was their song Evolve, the extended version. And I actually would did not want to hear the short version because the extended version is so good. Yeah, I'm, uh, we're spoiled now. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go to the shorter <laughs> version. Now. No, I mean honestly, like you, you know, you hear like, oh, it's a violin with a with a band. You're like, oh, okay. You know, you don't really think that's very exciting. Um, I did not expect, you know, yeah. you know, a guitar violin duel like that. Well, you never hear the violin played like a guitar. <laughs> no, like, I, I mean, the only time I've heard 
anything like that was when there was, um, I forget her name, but she's a violinist who stepped up on stage with the band Exodus. Mm -hmm. And she did like a violin solo rendition to one of their uh, earlier songs, A Lesson in Violence. Yeah. But this is something else. Yeah. And the only this is thing something entirely different. I can liken it to the stuff that I listened to a long time ago was a band, or was a punk band, American band called Yellow Card that had a violin player and they're like a pop punk band and they incorporated it in, in similar ways, very riffy stuff. Well, I, what I tend to enjoy when it comes to like violin and rock music, especially full tempo, heavy, heavy rock, heavy hitting rock music is the unorthodox way of making it. Just because you have a violin that has four strings on it, that is traditionally used for tr classical music. Doesn't mean you need to use it to make classical music. Uh, which they still did heavily he lean on as far as like the symphonic metals of you know parts of the of the track, but what really stood out to me is the way she decided to play those melodies between the guitar player and when they went back and forth because that was more unorthodox playing that we've seen that we normally would see on a violin. Oh, absolutely! And I thought it was interesting and very cool, and I'd love to see more. If you guys like East of Eden, let us know what the next one should be, whether this or a live version. Um, something in or anything in between a studio version in the studio or something anything that's anything that's top notch yeah that's top notch quality video quality send them our way yeah we'd be happy to check them out but in the meantime we are offset era we are two-thirds of offset era a three-piece punk core band from sunny southwest florida if you're curious as to what punk core entails we have an extensive playlist of all of our original music new and old yeah and our latest EP, Top Shelf Villain, is going to be available for digital release on all streaming platforms Friday, March 22nd. Yeah, we're super excited for everyone to hear the new music. Yep. Thinking about a mini music video, we're still trying to toy around with some different concepts. I'm hoping we figure out something that's going to be manageable with the time frame that we have yep. we're, in this. In yeah, this we're, brainstorm time. we're brainstorming video ideas, we're brainstorming t shirt ideas. Right. So if anyone out there who wants a brand new t-shirt from us in the near future. Well, what we're going to do, if you guys are interested in t-shirts, is we just started to order, put some different artwork together. We're going to take a, a couple of pictures of some, uh, a small sample of orders that we've already placed with various colors uh, with one of the designs we really like. We'll, we'll post a few things on the community page, but if you also are interested, feel free to add us on Facebook and on Instagram. Just search Offset Era. Yep. Uh, and you will be able to see those posts and just comment on which ones you like. And we'll figure out well, a shirt situation there so we can get some of our merch out there. And then we'll go from there. Then we'll go from there. We also have a show coming up. That's right. Our next show is uh, Friday, March 29th in Arcadia, Florida at the Heard Opera House. Yes. It's going to be a fun place. It's uh, We were actually there last year when they were finishing renovations following Hurricane Ian. Right. I've seen some, I've seen some recent pictures of it. It looks great. Can't wait to play there again with a bigger sound system, yeah. more more developed situation there. Um, it was fun. It was a very cool, interesting situation. Yeah. Uh, it's an old, old building, historic even. So just interesting all around. Probably one of the coolest places we've played. It's supposed to be haunted. So very interesting. So I just want to see it uh, continue to evolve because it'd be a great place. We're losing a lot of our original music venues around this area. So even Arcadia would be a good place you know, even if we had to drive up there to, to play shows, I'd still be happy with uh, with yeah. that kind of venue. So, all right. Well, that's it for this video. We want to thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. We'll see you then. We'll see you there. Peace out.